us. A major Supreme Court ruling on the nation's DACA program. Today, the high court blocked the Trump administration's effort to end the Deferred Action Childhood Arrival Program. The policy started under the Obama administration and provides protection to immigrants brought to the United States illegally as children. 100,000 immigrants rely on that program. Not on your side's Madeline Ashley is live outside the Pitt County Courthouse tonight. So Madeline, break down the details of today's decision. Ken Shayla, the majority opinion in the five to four decision doesn't detail whether the DACA program is a good or bad policy, but it does reject the Trump administration's decision to try to shut down the program. For now, so-called dreamers are safe from deportation under Deferred Action for Childhood Arrival, also known as DACA. It keeps those protections that they were given under DACA, it keeps them in place for another um, for temporarily, you know, until we find out what, what the kind of the next step is. The decision is reopening the immigration debate, overshadowed by coronavirus and protests against racism. It will allow us to have more conversations about uh, what DACA is and what that means, um, you know, on, a, on an individual level, but also as on a, a, a society, a, a social level. Recent polls suggest a growing number of Americans are sympathetic to the immigration cause, a cause dear to Erica Costello's heart. We were all really happy about this. The ECU student is treasurer of the college's Latin group, a Mexican, which includes people covered by DACA. And so this allows them to keep going and ending school with us. Members of Costello's own family are affected by the high court's decision. Being able to raise your own family here, being able to be safe in a country where you grew up. Costello says things aren't always easy for DACA immigrants. They weren't sure if they would be allowed to stay here. Costello believes this ruling is a step towards a better future. Hispanics add like difference to to America and America was supposed to be a melting pot from the get go. Today's decision left many lawmakers thinking this was a victory, and they're also hopeful for longer potential citizenship for DREAMers. The Trump administration is not expected to be challenging this and for the rest of the electoral year. Live in Greenville, Madeline Ashley, 9 on your side.